Hey, what is going on, guys? It is the SMT. Thanks for tuning in to watch this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. I have a huge update from T-Mobile from the network side. Really good decision in my perspective. I think these are things that T-Mobile has to do, at least temporarily for the time being, as they continue to transition and integrate the networks between T-Mobile and Sprint. The capacity is really a hot commodity right now, and this is definitely going to be helping them. Before I get going with today's update, please do check out the links in the description box. We have links to the SMT Patreon page, the second channel, Snee Mobile Tech live streams. We also have the Twitter handle at Snee Tech and the invite code for Megadon.net, the social media platform of the future. Never need another social media platform ever again. No algorithms, no ads, no tracking. Megadon.net. All right, so here's the update. T-Mobile is continue uh, its onslaught on providing network capacity through different types of boosting most of it through low band it's definitely working we've seen that this has worked for them in the recent history uh, anyways they have ironed out a deal with a company known as columbia capital uh, columbia capital is an investment firm that invests in internet infrastructure enterprise it and mobility uh, they are trend investors and it looks like this is going to pay out for them pretty well anyways the deal that t-mobile has with them is a three-year agreement in which columbia capital will be leasing 600 megahertz spectrum licenses to t-mobile obviously t-mobile has to spend to do this but it's something that is required because their network is really under a lot of strain any type of support helps so the details on the deal uh the spectrum uh, the licenses that are operated here are between 10 to 30 megahertz of concentration of 600 megahertz low band access and it looks like it's going to be helping out in some pretty large markets. Some of the ones that were named in this article from Fierce Wireless were St. Louis, San Francisco, Seattle, Philly, Chicago, Boston, L.A., and more. So that means in places where they have a lot of customers and these are very concentrated, densely packed cities, this should help tremendously. At times of congestion, I'm sure these network connections are almost unbearable and unusable. This should make things much better. Uh, in terms of most cases looks like they'll be receiving about 10 megahertz of access with some getting about 20 megahertz and i think there are a few that do have 30 megahertz so essentially we may be seeing megahertz concentrations increasing twofold uh in in some markets which is awesome we've already seen what happened with the dish access in which speeds were boosted and doubled in a lot of different cities especially the larger ones uh what i think t-mobile should do is they should continue to make these types of deals make lease agreements make deals with other carriers and other owners and operators of these 600 megahertz licenses do it as much as possible and then that should help remedy some of the congestion issues over the next three years you know and honestly we predicted this about a month ago for those of you that are familiar with the channel you've been here a while you've probably heard it from you know myself as well as you know carlos and caleb and tim and pete we've talked about this they should try to set up these type of arrangements you know in the near future um now i predicted this we kind of knew it was coming t-mobile is going to need the support and here it is happening so they've got access from dish they've got access from channel 51 uh bluegrass there's all these different companies comcast they'll continue to do this until they kind of settle in and um you know, they definitely want to continue to probably operate these beyond the 60 day mark in which they have deals with like Comcast and Dish where they're just using it during the situation. They should go beyond that and probably operate it for the next few years, similar to what we see with this deal. I also think it probably helps Dish a lot if you think about it. Dish can probably generate quite a bit of revenue from T-Mobile, allowing them to probably use that cash, you know, and that and that money that's generated in a lease agreement with T-Mobile to build out their 5g network i mean they need operational cash uh they've got bills that they have to pay and you know getting loans and everything is great but those lenders need to see that there is a reason to invest in dish so i think um you know this could also help out with a potential sweetening of the deal in the mvno deal with t-mobile uh, maybe a push maybe a barter trade something like an operational uh you know symbiotic relationship there makes total sense so this is great news Customers should be benefiting from this. Second piece to mention, um, there are emails being sent out to Sprint customers right now from T-Mobile. So soon to be T-Mobile customers are being notified by email from a letter from Mike Sievert, the new CEO of T-Mobile. Uh, shout out to Alexis, 
for letting me know over there on the Patreon page. Uh, customers that are currently with Sprint that are transitioning over to the T-Mobile side will be keeping all of their stuff, whatever they have currently with Sprint. So that means Tidal, Amazon, whatever they have, they get to keep it. This includes features, hotspot data, pricing, all of the above. Uh, this just reminds us that Mike is the uncarrier. T-Mobile has always been you know, good about, you know, customers keeping their plans and being grandfathered. You know, I'm not sure how long this stays, but as of right now, uh, it is safe, you know, so as you transition to the T-Mobile side, you keep everything for now. I don't know what the future holds, but you're covered for now. And that's great. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about these news. If you watch this whole entire video all the way through hashtag real raviolis, that's right. Hashtag Real raviolis in the comment section. Let me know you're a real one and you watch this video all the way through. Thank you so much for that. There's other ways you can help out the channel too. You guys can make sure that you are subscribed. Maybe you're a first time viewer. Uh, you know, maybe you haven't been here before and you want to make sure you never miss an upload from the SMT. You know, activate that notification bell icon and you'll never miss an upload. And uh, also like this video. That helps a lot. And you could share it to your favorite social media platforms. That would be awesome. So much, uh, so much help comes in that way when you share these videos. So thank you so much for that in advance. And you can check out some of these other videos that I handpicked for you guys. Thank you also for doing that as well. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you guys for watching. I am the SMT and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.